right, welcome guys. Today we're back up in Ayutthaya and we're at Wat Sina Sana Ram. And it's a, uh, the real name is like Wat Sina Sana Ram Racha Vanavaraham or something like that. Anyway, it was previously known as Wat Su. And this is a first class temple. It's one of the three that's in Ayutthaya or Bangpa Inn. And I did one on the other one that's in Ayutthaya a couple, uh, I don't know, about a week ago or so. And then I did uh, the one that's in Bang Pa Inn that looks like a Catholic church. And those are all in my uh, Ayutthaya or uh, uh, Bang Pa Inn playlist. Anyway, this uh, this royal temple here is uh, pretty cool. It's got some uh, famous Buddha images that were brought in from like Vientin. It's got a reclining Buddha and uh, it has some murals, I guess, that were damaged in the uh, flood of 2011. And I came up here to Ayutthaya in that time whenever this was all flooded. And it was, uh, it was amazing. There was, uh, I mean, there was four meters of water in the town here. There was so much water. So anyway, we're gonna look around this temple and uh, we're gonna see what we see. It looks uh, pretty exciting. So uh, let me show you. So the temple grounds was uh, built in the Ayutthaya style and it was abandoned of course like all of them whenever uh, Ayutthaya was sacked by the Burmese and uh, then it was restored again in the reign of King Rama IV and uh, he liked this area he liked this temple he did a lot of uh, important stuff in Ayutthaya itself so this temple has a couple main buildings and uh, has like a nice white chetty and they're redoing some of the buildings that the monks are in and stuff like that but uh, this one here, it's supposed to have like the royal, uh, royal arm, like coat of arms right there with the, on the front. And that's showing that Rama IV uh, renovated this temple. So here's one of the buildings. You can see uh, how they're redoing the front of it. You see the bricks that are exposed and they're redoing all the, uh, the wood and all the plaster and stuff like that. So this building will be closed off so we won't be able to get in there. But there's a couple others we can look at. This is one of the gates that uh, you have to go through to get into the temple. Pretty cool. And then this uh, has a little housing area right next to it. Okay, so in this little hall here, they have a reclining Buddha. And this is pretty different. They have a Buddha here holding like a baby Buddha. It's interesting. But anyway, this reclining Buddha used to be at one of the other ruins here in Ayutthaya, Wat Mahat. And Rama IV ordered this Buddha to be brought over here and placed inside of this temple. And it says that it's made out of stone, so they, uh, they placed the stones one by one and then they carved them neatly to make this reclining Buddha. That's what it says online. And you can see the hall that it's in with the uh, painted ceiling that's made out of wood and then all the painting on the walls. And I like these uh, window shutters. This is pretty nice. And then you can see how it is made out of stone. Here's the toes that are kind of broken a little bit. All right, let's go look around some more. Okay, so let's go inside of here. This is right behind the uh, reclining Buddha. And this has some of the murals. I was talking about one of the signs outside where the uh, TV station Channel 7 donates like three and a quarter million baht to uh, restore the murals and for the upkeep of this temple. Yeah, this is quite a nice hall. Oh, I guess this is pretty cool. So they have a place for the head monk to sit. It's made out of stone. And then some of the images. I believe this was one of the Buddha images that was brought in from the intent. The one that's in the other hall is supposed to have uh, the Khmer writing above it and the arch. This one's pretty nice. And then some more of the murals behind the, uh, the Buddha.
and then another one that's back in here. So this is pretty cool, it has a little archway. And then it has the Buddha image in its own little, its own little room. And you can see the teak wood and stuff. That's pretty nice. So the ties will come and put the gold flake, or the gold leaf on this. And you can come in from either side. And here's the drum to, to, put, to bang. Over here you can see the wooden buildings. These are the, uh, the monk quarters. And there's more, there's like a little canal that separates the uh, part of this old temple from uh, into two halves. So in here, we have all these little chetties. Looks like there's 10 of them here also, just like at the, uh, the other first class temple, that Wat Sana Saram. And uh, you can see this would be pretty controversial, it has the uh, Buddha symbols. Now let's walk around this uh, big chetty. It's a brilliant white, it's really, really nice. And it has the gold top. And it is really hot here. Woo, it's hot. So it looks like they've just finished remodeling. I can see all the paint and stuff on the ground. And then uh, these chetties. And there's some monks that you can hear on the microphone. They're doing a ceremony. And then over here is the bell tower. And then in this hall, this is where I want to go. It may be closed off. This one's the one that has the uh, the gold-plated Buddha from uh, Vientin in it. Got a little kitty cat. He's hissing at me. What's wrong, kitty? Yeah, they, maybe the monks, they have a ceremony going on in there. And then the bell tower. We have a Buddha here. It looks like these two doors are open so we can go inside and we can look. I can hear the monks chanting. There's the Khmer alphabet, I believe. ceremony's over and you can see a nice view of the main Buddha in this hall now there's supposed to be I don't know if this is what it is it's in Khmer there's supposed to be like some of the murals talking about the ten animals that the monks are not allowed to eat I'm not sure what that is okay so let's walk around a little bit more of this temple here you can see the, the little bell tower and the drum and in the front of the main hall and then just over the top of it, you can see the top of the gold chetty and then the smaller chetties around. This temple's nice. It's not the nicest one I've seen. That other one that's in uh, IOTI I think is a little better. The murals are a little neater, but this is still pretty cool to see. And they have a, uh, oh, this is interesting, have an old boat. Not sure what this is about. has something over here talking about it in Thai, but I can't read that. Maybe it was a boat that one of the royals rode in or something. Yeah, but it's pretty neat. I like this. 